Hey guys, so today I wanted to get my video review of Ultimate Azon Theme, partly because I was just looking to see how it was ranking, and I noticed this guy has this review here, which uh, is pretty hilarious. What it sounds like is that he basically copied the text off of the sales page for Ultimate Azon Theme and then ran it through an auto-speech tool. Anyway, let's do the real theme here. So I actually bought the theme and... Uh, have built a website on it. It's not complete, but it's doing pretty good. The topic of the website was motion sensor sprinklers. I just happened to have this domain that I bought on a whim one time, and I thought it was a good fit for the Amazon website. You can see I've got the homepage set up here. I'll go through how to set that up in just a second. Uh, quite a few pictures, maybe a thousand, two thousand words of content. This is the the slider. Yeah, okay. This is the slider. There's a slider, and there's a table. This is the slider version that I'll show you in just a second here and then I go through a couple different models and I haven't added affiliate links yet as you can see but uh, each of these will uh, lead to a full review so so far what I'm setting you up for I want to show you that I haven't really done much with the site I've made the home page and I've made individual reviews and the reviews themselves are maybe about 500 words with pictures and videos We'll go through how to set this up in just a second, just real quick. I'm not going to make this a tutorial video. But so I've only done that, and when I check my rank today, you can see that I'm ranked on page four for the term mo motion sensor sprinkler, which I mean isn't page one, two, one or two rankings, but it's only a three word keyword, and I haven't done anything on the site, and it's only been up for about two weeks. So I think that's pretty good. You can see that it's improving over time. Let's see what the competition looks like. You can see Motion Sensor Sprinkler has 400 searches and has a pretty high competition number, 225, which is medium competition. So I, I think the keyword phrase is doing pretty good, and hopefully I'll get some other keywords ranked as I start posting blog posts uh, later on this, this summer. Today's June, so I'll probably post a couple different a couple posts a month. Okay, so if you look inside, your main theme settings are going to be in this ultimate Azon area here. So this is going to change all of your your logo and your design. So here we've got the preset theme styles. And you can see there's 10 of them here, which will change the color of the site. And they're all, they're all pretty good. I felt that the blue one was good for my... Uh, sprinkler. And you can see here that I've set actually my current preset to this so I can change the theme here to the red one. And that's going to change the look of the website and then I can go back to my preset. The nice thing for the newbies that are downloading this theme is that you can change a lot of the color settings here and everything is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your background images, you've got link colors, uh, you've got H3 tags, you've got different text styles, which normally in most WordPress themes, you would have to go in and actually change the code. With something like Genesis, like a Genesis framework, you know, they'll have a box where you can fill in the code, but you still have to find the code and get the right code. With a free theme, you're going to be stuck going into the theme itself and changing the code, and it's going to erase it every time you update the theme. So this is good for people that they want to have a little bit more flexibility without knowing code. The product settings area, that's where you are going to set some of the SEO settings. And what I mean is, if we go to models here. So when you're doing the actual product reviews, look at the URL up here. You can see I've set my product to motion sensor sprinkler and motion sensor sprinklers. So that is going to create a URL that looks like this, which in theory will optimize your post for your keyword. Now I just happen to have motionsensorsprinkler.com and I'm a little bit concerned that it's over optimized, but I mean, we'll see. They've got motionsensorsprinkler.com slash motionsensorsprinklers slash uh, yard enforcer motion activated sprinkler. So you may want to plan that out a little bit, but I'm not so worried about it. I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. But that's what the product setting is. You just set that up once and then you don't have to mess with it. Now this is pretty cool. This is actually one of the main features that I want to use that I haven't started using yet is that link localization. A lot of complaints from people using Amazon is that if you 
market internationally, you don't get credit for all Amazon sales. So what I mean is if you send people to the Amazon US website, but you're from the UK and you only have a UK Amazon link, then you don't get credit for the sale. So you have to have a, an account with the US Amazon, the UK Amazon, and wherever else in the world you want your uh, Amazon to get credit. Most sales are going to come from the US. So for US people, it's not a big deal. But for anyone else in the world, you probably want to sign up to Amazon US and get credit for your for your Amazon traffic coming from there. So there's a whole spiel here that you can read, which tells you how it searches for a similar product on the different countries' website, which is pretty cool. I actually didn't mention this feature in my written review. Okay, posts and pages are pretty much the same. I ha actually haven't messed with brands. This is your product settings. Are your products where you're going to create new products so this is you can see I've added all these different motion sensor sprinklers here and when you go in here when you create a product it looks just like a WordPress post and you create it just like a WordPress post and then below it here is going to be your buy settings so you can see I've got a, a buy bar on the top and a buy bar on the bottom and I've got different phrases for each one I've got my affiliate link here and the product name, brand, and how many stars it has. So when you look at the product itself, you can see it fills in the stars. It's got the nice, I didn't show you the image, but it's got a nice image. If you've got a big image, that means they can zoom and check it out, which is pretty cool. We've got this nice little chart here and a buy button before the text. So if people just want to go and buy it immediately, then they can read your whole review and then a buy button at the bottom of the text so they don't have to scroll back up to the page. So it makes making sales a little bit easier. The other thing you should pay attention to is the sliders and tables. I've only done one so far. You can see a screenshot on the written review, which will show the transformation from the slider to the table. So you can create one chart and then toggle back between the, the slider and the chart without creating a new thing. And the way you create the sliders is pretty easy. After you create the products, so you need to have your products ready, and then all you do is go to add another product, and you'll see it in the drop-down menu. You can put it in the order you want. And the slider that I have right now, I think, has 10 items in there. So you can see this is page one. You can scroll to page two, and then page three, it's got nine items. And they can buy directly from the slider. This is the good part about having your affiliate link in there because it uses it in a couple different places or they can go to the full review. And that's about it. It's a pretty cool theme. There's definitely some unique features which are particular to, I think, mini niche sites. It's great for mini niche sites. It's great for sites that are very product focused where you want to write reviews. And the, the main things that are cool about it are the slider and the way he's got the product thing set up where you've got the buttons and the stars and the whole setup of that page. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see the rest of the details in the written review, you can click over to the written review page, which is in the description of the YouTube video, or you might be watching this on the actual review page, in which case you can keep reading. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.